Hello and welcome to Daybreak Again Reaction Channel. If this is your first time you are a newcomer here, you are warmly welcome from the bottom of my heart. Well, let me make an admission before we go on. So, I have come to accept the fact that beefs and the songs are a part of the showbiz music entertainment. But what I wouldn't do is to choose size. What I can do on what I will do is to talk about the positive side of beefs and these songs. Okay, let's get into action. Well, you are aware of the beefs going on between Shatawale and um, Sakodia and all that. So just when we thought the Sub-Zero this song to Shatawali was at the freezing point and cooling off, a smoke just erupted. And just as the old saying goes, where there is smoke, there is fire. Kweku Smoke, a young rap artist in Ghana, has melted the ice on the Sub-Zero, the dead song to Shatawali from Sakodie, to put back the beef on the grill. And it is smoking hot. Call him the last defender of rap music made in Ghana. So in his defense, he released and this song to those who have attacked Sakodie recently. Well, for Shatawali, it comes as no surprise to us because he uses his social media platform very often to attack Sakodie, and that is a fact. For the other two, Asem, whose last song can really be traced way back to 2009 over 10 years this dude he has not been seen on the music seen anywhere he was in hidings but he thought it was the right time for him to come out with the day song all oh, with jabs and punchlines towards Sakodi. the other man a very fine beat producer called Bojay who talks swiftly with his American accent well now we know that Bojay he has been practicing social distancing from microphones all over his career until now when we know dude can really pull some words on the microphone because he is known as a producer not a rapper at least that is what we have known him for for the past years so Kweku Smoke did not take it lightly when rap music the founder of rap music and his icon came under attack from Shatawali so he used this as an opportunity to address the issue his way he threw jabs at Boje, he threw jabs at Asem and he threw jabs at Shatawale let's go and get the lyrics as I put on some commentaries and explanations on them are you sure you have the balls because you lack manhood you only know how to speak big English at the time you set up New Africa, I was in class one. So Kweku Smoke is telling Boje that you know what? At the time you set up New Africa, I was about six years old. But where have you taken New Africa to? So I am guessing New Africa is Boje's business, something like that. This means Boje's legacy in the Ghana hip hop game is not up to the standard of his target 
you should just this anyone like that he questions this statement refers to Bojay's job in Korea for some time now in his interviews if you have nothing to offer the rap game shut up Kweku Smoke says this implies that Kweku Smoke recognizes the impact of Sakurie on his generation of rappers. Truth be told, Sakurie is a role model and an icon for a lot of youth rappers in Ghana and across Africa. That is the fact. He has a following. Smoke is definitely not happy that an icon and a role, a role model is under attack by someone whose impact on GH rap is way below the standard of his icon Sakurie at least on the mic because he is known to be a beat producer but not a rapper and then he moves swiftly and attacks Asim he says and for rapper Asim, what is he saying? So Asim is a Ghanaian rapper who used to be active some years back. And 2009 could be the last year anybody heard from him. And he used to be someone who always threw jobs at Sakodie, even back then. Again, smoke jobs Asim on the grounds that he left Ghana for US. And actually, he is living in the U.S. undocumented. And for that reason, he should stay there quietly lest he be deported. I cannot prove or say that what Kweku Smoke said here about him living there un undocumented is true or false. I don't know about that. But these are jabs that he was throwing at him. So he's encouraging him that before you come for Sako the, the icon and role model, you really have to look at your status. You really have to be sure that you are in good standing before you bring attention to yourselves. All right. Then he says, and he questions Asim, is he trying to come back to the rap game? But he doubts he will fit in. What do you think about this? Is Asim trying to resurrect his career by targeting Sakodie? Or you think it's over for Asim and he is not coming back anytime soon or he is dead forever? Let me know that in the comment. Well, he finishes with Asim and now he opens the big chapter on Shatawale. Smoke opening shatter punchlines by saying if Kweku referring to himself because his name is Kweku Smoke, if Kweku had made such comments, everybody would say, You are so disrespectful, Kweku. You are all sitting blindly at Shatawali This is Reggie Rackstone, the founder of rap music in Ghana, which used to be called Hip Life in the 90s and through mid 2000s Shatawale is decent every rapper to the extent of decent the entire genre of rap music made in Ghana Smoke is questioning all rappers who are silent about Shatawale decent the genre of rap music in Ghana and of course the founder of rap music in Ghana he jabs Shatter again when he says, when you die, no one will have your name in a conversation. This means Shatter will not be remembered for anything and his legacy derailed to nothing. What do you think? Kweku Smoke continues his jobs and saying that Shatawale is actually trending on stupidity and he is using the act of bullying to grab material things for himself hmm. but then he reminds Shatavali that after death is when a lot is revealed 
about mankind. Let me remind you that smoke and Shatawali used to be cool until late 2019 when something happened. But what happened? So, Kweku Smoke alleged for the first time that Shatawali has made an attempt to steal his song after he presented the song to him to feature on it and both of them working on the song. The following day, Shatter posted a snippet of the song on his Instagram claiming that it was a new release and fans should anticipate. So Smoke quickly informed his manager and with a few people, they wanted to talk to Shatawali. But that confrontation took a twist. When they got there, Shatter met them with his entourage and they gave them some beatings. Actually, quick smoke, he got hit and afterwards he had to put on a neck collar. That is when their relationship actually got bitter and sour. For now, I don't know how far with that case. But then he continues his jabbing. You know, he jabs Shatter again by calling him a dog. And this is in reference to Yapono's dissing song called We Nabu. But let me remind you also that after three years of that death song to Shatawale, he has not been able to reply yet. Well, let's go on. The jabs continues. In this world, he says, good name is better than riches. This is what he is telling Shatawali, that good name is better than riches. Then he says again, it, it took you two packs of cigarettes to get through World Star. When you wanted to listen to World Star, you had to smoke two packs of cigarettes to listen to a song, a this song that lasted for two minutes and six seconds. So he is saying that for Shata Wally to get through this one, it will take him 10 packs of cigarettes. Well, that will be too much of cigarettes. World Star actually, let me remind you, is a this song he released, Kweku Smoke released for Shata Wally after the stolen song saga. You could, you could tell that coming, right? Yes. Well. He goes on to dare Shatawali that he wants him to meet him on a park. You know, in Ghana when you say, somebody tells you, you know, you meet me on the park. That means open field, come to the park and let's fight. He's calling for a duel between himself and Shatawali. But he is saying that you have to come alone. This time, do not bring no entourage just come alone it is then i will show you the difference between a smoking gun and a bow and arrow well the jobs continues he exclaims and says shatter is a fake guy and he is not just a fake guy but a coward this is what quick smoke is saying do you believe it or not well, punchline still rains continuously as he drops lines like Sack killed you in reference to the diss songs Sakode has released for Shatawali, namely Advice and Sub Zero. Then he says again, Pono killed you in reference to Pono's Wenabu diss song to Shatawali. Then he goes and questions and says, Who do you say you gonna beat? He is questioning Shatawali that who do you say you gonna beat? Because remember, Shatawali on his social media attack on Sakodie said this time around he is going to beat Sakodie and he will use a belt to whip him proper. That will be the worst ever belt beatings he has ever received in his life so Kweku Smoke is saying wait wait a minute 
who do you say you're gonna beat? My Sakodie, my icon, my role model? Hell no, that is not gonna happen. So I encourage you to come back and redraw that statement and to actually apologize for saying that. Then he continues to say that Shata is just running his mouth and he cannot do anything. Then he exclaims and says, are you mad? Emotional man. Let me remind you that he got that phrase, emotional man, from Sakodia. Because Sakodia in a tweet or in a reply to Shatawali, when he was attacking him on social media said, and I quote, Bema, Jajimieno, you feel say I get time to throw shot at you at this time? Emotional singers. For what reason? I don't know. But that, I presume, is related to the time that Shatawali did his COVID-19 online faith concert. Somewhere along his performance, he became emotional. That is where Sakode got it from. Well, it could be or not. If you know, let me know. And he says, I see you hurt. Your brother is ahead of you in this game and you are hurting. So, Kweku Smoke thinks that Sakode is really ahead of Shatawale when it comes to their respective careers. So he is questioning Shatawali that are you mad and are you hurt by this? Is it the reason why you are always attacking Sakodie? Well, I don't know. Let me know if you know. Then he continues and says, Every day you brag about I have this and I have that. But have we been to your house to ask for food? This is what Kweku Smoke is actually asking Shatawale. Then he says, you have loaned a car to ride in. You have a swimming pool to swim in. But have we really seen what you, you are saying and bragging about? No, we haven't. What really matters at this point, Kweku Smoke says, is for you, Shatawale, to learn some common sense. That is what Kweku Smoke says. And then the beat fades away. And he brings his this to an end. But let me ask you, why do you think Kweku Smoke also joined the beef? Well, let me tell you my opinion. Opinions differ, and I believe you have yours. But it is not an argument between me and you. So allow me to spit my opinions. I know you will have yours and I respect it. I don't support anybody in this beef. I am only doing my part. This is the reaction channel. So, point one. He sees that the genre which he belongs to the rap game is being attacked and he wouldn't stand ideal like a lot of rappers are doing so he felt the need to rise up as the last defender of rap music made in Ghana to also give a reply to Shatawale secondly Sakodia might be his icon and role model and he couldn't just sit idle for people to attack his icon and role model so he has to come up and defend him and then the third thing he already has a sour relationship with Shatawale you remember the story I told you about the stolen song saga so he also thought this is an, this is an opportunity that he can use to jab and throw punchlines at Shatawale again. This is what I think. I don't know what you think, but let me know in the comment. Sometimes it's hard to find the comment box, but 
scroll all the way down keep scrolling keep scrolling you will come to the comment box put in your comment and let's have a chat well this is for today's reaction and i thank you for joining me i thank you for subscribing to the channel if you are new and you haven't done so please don't hesitate go on and do it help grow the channel okay if you are returning to my channel and you haven't done so go ahead and subscribe as well guys we are still in difficult times and the pandemic hasn't ended and like i always say protect yourself and protect others think about the other people okay don't do anything to risk your life pay attention and listen to what your officials politicians and healthcare professionals are telling you to do in order to keep yourself safe well i have suggested the next video for you to watch and it will come up right on your screen right about now okay so go on ahead and click it and enjoy i will see you in the next reaction take care it's your boy pato and i am out